Most of us have heard of this legend. Some may even have partaken in the ritual said to bring her to life. But is she just a lore or does she really exist? I saw something in the sky. I was shocked. That's what I I saw. It moved closer and couldn't move my body. And it disappeared. I froze and couldn't snap out of it. Welcome, I'm Stephanie, and this is BuzzFeed Unsolved Viewer Submission Stories. Here we feature stories of unexplained encounters of the paranormal and the strange that were submitted by viewers like you. Now, I do understand that there are skeptics and believers and people who are somewhere in between, but we're not here to discuss that. We're here to listen to your experience and not judge it. This episode is about the infamous Bloody Mary, and this legend appears to have had connections to cultures around the world. We'll lightly explore some of them later after we share this viewer's story. So without further ado, lock your doors, hang tight to your phone, and turn off the lights while we share with you Carmen's chilling encounter. Is this ritual flirting with danger or just playing a silly game? Carmen V wrote, When I was about nine years old, I had a friend that introduced me to the urban legend of Bloody Mary. We used to play around and dare each other to summon her in the bathroom one at a time. One night I was feeling daring, so I went into the bathroom and did it. Except I ran out before I could see anything and I went to sleep. So this is a widely known legend and it was a popular thing to do at the time. I mean, I did it when I was 10 with all my friends. We all felt like it was just a game. And perhaps that's what Carmen thought at the time too. And because Carmen was very young and just a kid, she probably didn't anticipate for anything unexpected to happen. So keep this in mind as we continue to dive further into Carmen's story. I woke up at around 4 a.m. and heard footsteps coming up the stairs. At first I thought it was probably my parents, except I began realizing that the steps never seemed to make their way to the top. I then thought, oh, the tooth fairy. I had lost my tooth that night, except I looked under my pillow and it was gone. The steps started getting louder, faster, and closer and sounded as if someone had already gotten to the top of the staircase. But I went to check and nobody was there and both of my parents were asleep. So was Carmen's imagination running wild by dimming the lights and performing the Bloody Mary ritual on her own? Or did she open up an actual portal when she did so? Let's keep reading. I then got so scared that I pulled the covers over my head and the steps suddenly came to a halt. I slowly uncovered my face, sighed of relief, and went to turn my body towards the wall. When I felt a hand crawl down my forearm and banged it against the wall with full force. I had zero control over my arm, which is what freaked me out. When I woke up, there was a dent in the wall. Some legends stem from some sort of truth that has long since faded away in history. In some cultures, mirrors are a magical tool that open portals to other realms. Even scientists have found that if you stare at a mirror for 10 minutes in the right setting in a dimly lit room, you may experience visual illusions, ranging from seeing animals to monsters, creatures, and even your own face distorting. While there's a possibility that this has happened to Carmen, it still doesn't quite make sense to me because she didn't stay long enough to see anything in the mirror. And it certainly doesn't explain the physical encounter. Which leads me to wonder, is it possible that the illusions relating to the Bloody Mary ritual could also mess with our other senses? So what if this is more than just mirrors and tricks? What if Bloody Mary's spirit is so evil that Carmen didn't need to stick around for it to manifest at night? In terms of the name Bloody Mary, the origins derive from a number of different stories. One of which is Mary I of England who was given the moniker Bloody Mary after she had over 300 rebels and Protestants burned at the stake in the name of religion and to preserve her power. But there is apparently no connection between the historical Mary I and the old superstition that saying Bloody Mary three times in front of a mirror will result in a spooky apparition. Folklorist Simon J. Bronner describes the ritual as a Mary Worth ritual and explains that Bloody Mary is another name for the ritual. He notes that the origin of the myth is from that of a young girl who was murdered in the woods behind Pine Road Elementary School in Pennsylvania. The Bloody Mary bathroom ritual seems to derive in part from a Japanese ghost story. The legend originates around the time of World War II telling the story of a young girl who died during the war and now haunts school bathrooms. 
Whichever story Bloody Mary was really based off of, perhaps it was a combination of them all, they all mostly have one thing in common, which is that they all have pretty dark origins. If you have a strange or paranormal experience that you would like to share with us, submit your story using the link in the video description below for a chance to have your encounter featured in a video like this. Until next time, know that anything is possible. Thank you.